homes of safety and security want government to remove the red tape to make it easier to access grants. This as the Department of Social Development delays seasonal payments to child and youth care centers. These centers say government needs to remove the six-month review of registrations. They say these delays their abilities to care for those in need. Although some of these homes don't entirely rely on government funding, they say this funding from government goes a long way in feeding and caring for those in need. We and the Department, the department of Social Development, we are actually partners. That is why they are actually funding or contributing to some of our expenses. And at this stage, we have not been receiving our funding uh, since October. Uh, October, November, December, we've been without funding. We do not see that uh, we will get funding in January, February, even March. We foresee that we might uh, uh, get funding only after March. On the other hand, a 20-year-old man single-handedly helps those in need without government assistance. He says his poor upbringing led him to put his heart and soul in making a difference in the lives of the vulnerable. He says his wish is for those families to never experience a lacking life, more especially in Christmas. Like clothes, it's like a swimming pool that we never stop swimming in. So we can be able to actually like um, dress the half of our community. So yeah, for clothes is a lot, but for food, uh, we are still lacking. It's only 30 families because uh, we would make sure we would like to make sure that each and every family on that day uh, because we do not come from the same families we do not come from well off families so our own aim was to make sure that each and every family on that day they receive something but for now we only have 30 but before sunday we hope that maybe it increases to 50. to works such as this one make a difference in the lives of the needy this young man from Pretoria says he depends on donations from the community to feed and clothe those in need. He started this Samaritan work in 2017 and has fed hundreds of families. So knowing that the lack of food, uh, malnutrition and not having enough food, uh, clothes on your back, they can take a lot, of, a lot away from you, like your respect, your self-confidence, the ability to express yourself in class. So 2017, 2018. That's when we started to introduce uh, collecting uh, secondary clothes. Government refutes claims that non-profit organizations have not received their seasonal funding. It says due to non-compliance, a handful of these NPOs have not received their funding. Of the 177 child and youth care centers that we have, it's only about um, uh, seven that are experiencing the problem with, with compliance, that tells you that the other 183 are fully compliant and they've been given or given their subsidies. So it tells you we're not dealing with any change of legislation, but we're dealing with NPOs that in more often than not will not follow through on their compliance issues. Charity homes say works such as theirs ensure that those in need are cared for and are not discriminated against. Notando Makutulela, SAPC News, Johannesburg.